Hello, I'm Jonathan Ross, and you're just about to watch the very first episode of The Larry Sanders Show, starring Gary Shandling. Now, Shandling may well be familiar to you as the star of the groundbreaking sitcom It's Gary Shandling Show, which aired on the BBC just a few years ago. But over here in America, he's still perhaps best known as an excellent stand-up comedian and one of the regular guest hosts on the legendary Tonight Show. In fact, Shandling was even considered as a replacement for that show's host, the very famous Johnny Carson, when he stepped down last year. And that's one of the many things that gives The Larry Sanders Show its edge. It's a satire on talk shows hosted by a man who himself could have been a major talk show star. And in the process, it plays off and ruthlessly exploits all of the cliches and conventions of the genre, including that peculiar American tradition, the talk show sidekick. Now, the concept of the talk show sidekick probably came about so that the host would have someone to bounce his funny bits off of before the actual guest came out. But somewhere along the line, the job devolved into loyal toady who at no time ever eclipses the host. As talk show hosts became ever more diverse and less conventionally attractive, so too the sidekick, in order to remain in the shadows, had to be increasingly more repulsive, thick and lump-like. The sidekick was also useful for pitching the sponsor's product without compromising the integrity of the host. Johnny Carson's second banana, Ed McMahon, made a fortune as a commercial pitchman. And his almost live moments in which a starving canine lustily consumed the sponsor's dog food are right up there with the Oswald assassination as a classic bit of 60s TV. So for the Larry Sanders show, a behind-the-scenes satire of the whole talk show game, Larry's bald, shuffling sidekick Hank Kingsley is, of course, dumb as a post, loyal as a lapdog, and always ready to sell anything with absolute conviction. The Larry Sanders Show explodes any impressions you might have that chat shows in any way portray honest, witty, spontaneous conversation. But I am, of course, talking only about American chat shows. <laughs>